Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the Zombie Lab 118th scale Robin figure. This is the police officer from the line. Um, here he is in the box. I've actually had this figure for quite a while. I just never got around to reviewing him. Um, so anyway, he comes in this box. It's a window box. You can see the majority of his accessories in there. He's got the zombie uh, Vitruvian man on the side there. Um, some other figures that were also available, Robin, um, Kiana, and then the zombie versions of both. Zombie Lab, Zombie Lab, Zombie Lab. So we're gonna open this up. We're gonna first and foremost remove the figure tray and then take out this little card that's on the inside. There's a picture of Robin there. And on the back, there's a little read up. If you wish to read it, feel free to pause the video and do so now. Always a fan of bios when they're included with figures. The figure comes in a two part plastic uh, tray, along with all of his accessories. So you just take the top part off, remove the figure and all of his junk. Right. First and foremost, he comes with a figure stand. It just looked like a piece of concrete with a little, too small to be a manhole cover, but like a vent or some kind there. Maybe a gas line uh, access or something. Um, he has his uh, utility belt here which has some silver painted detail on it to pick out like the, the little buckles and whatnot. It's nice. Molded on flashlights, some pouches, good stuff. He also has a working pistol holster for the pistol. Which does fit snug, snugly in there. And he has a hoop for his baton, or billy club, whichever you'd like to call it. And uh, that fits nice and snug in there. Very nice. He has a officer's cap with a painted shield on the front, as well as a black brim. Um, this is of a nice spongy plastic which means it will conform to the shape of his head nicely. And he comes with a shotgun. Which is very nice. Um, let's get him geared up. Just gonna take his uh, torso apart there. Um, these figures were notorious for breakage out of the packaging. Um, so if you get one on the aftermarket, take the time to actually heat up the joints before you uh, start posing him and whatnot because it would be a shame if yours broke. Um, mine did actually, and they, they were nice enough to send me out a replacement arm because that's what broke on mine, but it's so long after the fact that uh, there's no telling if they'd actually be able to do that at this point if you were to buy one on the aftermarket. So bear that in mind. Heat everything up before you uh, try posing them. So let's get this on his. So as you can see, he looks pretty pretty cool. His finger will fit through that trigger guard. I just don't have the patience right now. <laughs> I just. Uh, uh, there we go. I got it. Okay. So, it's pretty cool. He looks the part, which is nice. It's a good looking police officer. Um, it would be nice if he had a badge on his chest. Uh, unfortunately, um, he doesn't. It's just on his hat. But I guess uh, if you went to uh, uh, Chicken Fried Toys, 
you can get a badge that way get from the marshal or whatnot very cool figure and he stands up perfectly well as you can see um let's do his articulation now i'm just going to take his hat off for that um his head is on a barbell joint i believe yep which gives it for a great range of motion. You can do a full 360 degrees, point his head up, point his head down, tilt his head from side to side, arms, full 360 degrees, point his arms up, nothing at the bicep, elbows, flatten out, as well as bend, almost 90. They can rotate from side to side, kind of do 360 but as you saw i just popped the arm out because of the way the uh the angle of the uh elbow is cut um hands full 360 degrees and they do have the hinge it's just a little stiff on mine but it does work the ab crunch as you saw full 360 degree rotation rotation here at the hips Kick his legs up about that high, back about that far, splits about like that, double jointed knees, kick his heel back about that far, ankles, full 360 degree rotation, oh, popped his toe out there too, point his toes down <laughs> and point his toes up, they are hindered by the cuffs of his pants however, so bear that in mind, alright, let's do some size comparisons now. Here he is next to a vintage G.I. Joe figure who is three and three quarter inches tall, snake eyes. So Robin is definitely a four inch figure. Here he is next to a vintage collection Luke Skywalker. Again, a little on the short side because he's three and three quarter inches. Here is a four inch G.I. Joe figure from the Dollar General line. One of the more modern ones. You can see he scales a lot better with him. Um, here is a Boss Fight Studio blank. Um, these Zombie Lab figures were loosely based off of the Boss Fight Studio designs. I'm sure somebody is going to tell the story in the comments section, and I will let them do it, because uh, there was a lot of controversy between the two companies, and uh, I just don't want to waste the video time for it. So if you're interested, look down in the comments. I'm sure somebody will fill you in. Uh, here is a Marvel Universe Captain America figure. Sizes up pretty well with him. And last but not least, a World of Halo Master Chief. So all in all, it's a very cool looking figure. I do like them. And uh, I'm happy to have them in my collection. I just, because of all the superheroes and the military and the Cobra and, and figures and, and all that kind of stuff, I wanted a plain clothes police officer for my collection. I just, I, I needed one, you know. So that's why that they were the only zombie lab figures I bought. Um, they were the zombies themselves were a little expensive to get, and I knew Boss Fight was going to come out with them eventually. So I just decided to wait. But the police officer, I, I definitely wanted the police officer, so I went went out of my way to get him because I wasn't sure if they were going to release him under Boss Fight or not. I knew we were going to get the zombie version, which is in the background there. But uh, you know, I digress. So anyway, this is Robin from the zombie lab line if you wanted a plain clothes modern day police officer um, i do recommend him i think he's a good figure he does have his drawbacks just like a lot of the other zombie lab figures did namely um frozen joints right out of the packaging you do have to heat them up um to avoid breakage um sometimes the paint um dries up in the joints and when you bend certain limbs you can see that the 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 hinges are unpainted. Um, there are little drawbacks to uh, to this guy, no no question. But still, I wanted a plain clothes police officer, and I've got one. So anyway, this has been my review of Robin from the Zombie Lab uh, line. Um, if you like this video, check out my channel where I review a whole bunch of 118 stale content, including GI Joe, Boss Fight Studios, um, Star Wars superheroes you name it 
Um, if you like, so if you check out my channel and you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.